What is good, Ape Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock and talk about why Adam Aaron is actually helping AMC with the squeeze. I'm going to talk about this new deal that just came out. It actually changed compared to the last time I reported it. We do have something very important to discuss. And the thing about this deal, guys, is it's actually bringing us closer to the squeeze, believe it or not. So I'm going to actually explain how this is getting us closer to the squeeze. I'm going to talk about what this deal means for AMC fundamentally and why I believe we're getting closer and closer and closer to the mother of all short squeezes. Now, before before I say anything about AMC and why I'm still very bullish for the future, I do have to mention some very important things first. First off, I'm not a financial planner. This is all for educational purposes only, so do not take this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, but the entire Ape community as a whole. And the last things, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link down below in the description. If you do sign up for Moomoo and deposit $100, you're not only going to qualify for up to five free stocks, each with up to $3,500, but you're also going going to have the opportunity to win up to $200,000 because Moomoo is giving away $200,000 to a lucky winner. So if you want a chance to win $200,000, guys, and up to five free stocks, check out the link down below, deposit $100 into Moomoo, and you will get your chance. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. Looking at AMC, ticker symbol AMC, it's currently in the red right now below $15 and trading within the $15 to $16 range for quite a bit of time. We've seen AMC decline pretty hard, guys, and we have seen the entire market take a bit of a hit. Now, the thing about AMC is I'm very, very bullish for the future because of the fact that it's not just improving fundamentally, but it's also a squeeze play and it does have that squeeze potential. So I want to actually take us back in time. Remember what happened a, a couple of years ago, guys, okay? In 2020, we had the pandemic situation. So what ended up happening was there were these massive lockdowns and AMC was on the verge of going bankrupt because of the fact that they didn't have any more theaters that were open, right? They, they lost essentially all their revenue overnight. It was very, very tough for them. So they got into a ton of debt. Now, the problem with AMC is, yeah, it's a great company. It's bouncing back and it did not go bankrupt because these big institutions, these hedge funds were betting that AMC would go bankrupt and, and, and fail, right? And they were close. They got very, very close. As AMC's share price almost went to zero, but then it bounced back, guys. It survived. It didn't end up dying. It survived, and it's getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Right now, it's in a much, much, much better state than where it was in 2021 at the very start. We're doing way better, guys. So my point is AMC is doing better now, but they're not necessarily fully back just yet. They're making the comeback. They're getting better every single day, and they're in the process of making the best comeback in history in my opinion it's going to be insane but the thing is there are some important things that amc has to address and that is their debt right their debt is something that's really going to help them with more and more projects if they want to actually um, unveil more nfts maybe make an amc crypto coin or these big ideas we are talking about they first need to address their debt improve the financial situation in order for us to get there because these things in turn are going to increase the odds of amc squeezing and destroy the short narrative that amc is a dead cat in the water so when it comes to the share price guys adam aaron is has been reported as a 5d chess player he's been making some very awesome news and moves based off the new bonds deal so i'm going to show you that in one second look at what charles Payne even said about it he said nice job at ceo adam aaron you guys have the momentum uh going on but under the circumstances congratulations right note i own amc shares too once again very very awesome so a lot of people are congratulating adam aaron for what on earth was just like negotiated and this is the deal right here so in my previous video a couple of days ago, I talked about how this was actually worth $500 million, but now it's not just a $500 million deal. It's a $950 million bond deal in bid to pay down debt. Once again, very, very bullish news in my opinion. And the reason why this is so awesome for AMC is because this deal is going to help them actually pay off their debt and improve and refinance it to really, really, really improve the company and bring about more projects that are definitely going to bring more investors together and the apes as well so let's actually talk about this from amc's official website this is where they actually break down everything so it states right here they have a 950 million dollar uh, aggregate principal amount of 7.5 percent the first lean senior secured note is due in 2029 do you guys see that so if we look at another website right and this is the really important thing this is according to another filings report the first uh, before guys they had a 10.5 percent first lien notes that was due in 2025 as shown right here so what, what i'm trying to say is amc had more debt they had a higher interest rate and they had to pay it off by 2025 
Instead, it's delayed to 2029, and they have less and less and less uh, of an interest rate, which is really, really good for the company fundamentally. So they've refinanced successfully. They're really improving their company fundamentally. They're opening up. They're entering the popcorn industry. They're improving revenue streams. I mean, the, the company is getting better and better and better, and this in turn is destroying the short narrative that this company is going to die out. That's one of the main reasons why I'm super, super bullish. Now, on top of that, guys, I know the apes own the majority of the float there's obviously manipulation that goes on that keeps the share price down but at the end of the day guys we're fighting on we're fighting on we're fighting on the company's getting better and we're getting closer to the squeeze we're getting closer because what's going to happen in my opinion and this is my prediction the better amc gets the closer we get to being profitable the closer we get to maybe even issuing a dividend right this is going to cause amc to run up big institutions are going to be loading the boat it doesn't matter how many synthetic shares there are especially considering that the sec is trying to expose it now i know we don't have to trust the sec entirely but when we have these different factors coming into play and it's getting harder to short amc especially in the new times my point is it's becoming harder and harder to short this thing okay right now we might see it in the red it may even continue to drop a little bit more but i'm still super super bullish going into the future super bullish and i can't wait for what the future holds because the company is going to get better fundamentally that's going to help bring the share price up slowly on top of that big institutions will load the boats there's going to be a lot of fomo that brings us up even higher and higher and higher and on top of that short start covering i mean there's way more catalysts that could bring this thing up up and the amount of them out there right now that are bringing it down the only thing that's really bringing this down guys is the shorts trying to just to manipulate the stock maybe some institutions kind of selling off here and there but that's basically about it guys the large majority of apes are buying and holding there's manipulation that's bringing this down sure but it's not going to work for too long in my opinion you just have to give it time and why is investors willing to be patient guys so i recommend looking at amc as a high interest uh savings account right a savings account that's going to give you good returns in the future i can't guarantee that though not not financial advice like i'm saying but i'm simply stating that's the way you need to look at it right because you have to be patient you have to be very patient for this to play out and i know the apes are patient i know they're willing to wait it out and i know we're going to see a massive massive run over time as long as the fundamentals get better as long as amc addresses the issue and as long as we get better and better and better so that's what i have for this one guys adam aaron's big moves are definitely improving the company and the more amc improves fundamentally the more likely it is to squeeze as big institutions start loading the boat on shares too so that's my point guys i'm super super bullish going into the future and i have have not quit i know the apes are not quitting either and amc still has all the potential in the world to squeeze that's what i have for this one i'll see you in the next one amc to the moon and peace out